It has happened more or less to everyone. When we are looking at the sea, the blue sky on a particularly bright day. Suddenly, we notice the presence of so many small dark corpuscles, filaments, and spotters floating on our visual field. It's the flying flies or eye floaters, these moving bodies are scientifically defined musky volutants. Although they are not per se dangerous to the sight, eye floaters should not be neglected as they may spell a more serious eye disease, such as retinal detachment. The eye floaters, it is necessary to briefly dwell on the anatomy of the eye. The vitreous body, a clear and gelatinous substance that fills the space between the crystalline lens and the retina, therefore retains the spherical shape of the eyeball, makes up about two-thirds of the volume of the eye. The vitreous gel consists of 99% water and the remaining 1% of collagen fibers, sugars, vitreous cells, hyalocytes, proteins, hyaluronic acid, electrolytes, etc., which constitute the scaffold. The deterioration of the microstructure of the vitreous body begins with the fluidization of the gelatinous component, the collagen fibers begin to fragment and form filaments of different shapes that sometimes intertwine. They may project a shadow on the retina and are perceived as opacity, the eye floaters. Vitreous degeneration is a natural phenomenon primarily due to aging, which is why after 40 or 50 years of age it is easy to detect the problem more frequently. Other causes of the defect are due to myopia, which, if rather high, that is above 5 diopters, may cause accelerated degeneration processes even in younger years, between ages of 20 and 30. Finally, eye floaters may be caused by head trauma, prolonged use of specific drugs, dehydration or metabolic disorders that favor the degenerative process of the vitreous body.